one team, one heartbeat. It will happen for us, one mission. This segment brought to you by Sigma Engineers and Constructors. Sigma is committed to providing the absolute best multidisciplined engineering design consulting for the petrochemical industry. With experts in every discipline, our dedication to safety, accuracy, and quality, and our drive to have long-lasting relationships with our clients sets us apart as the go-to firm for anyone looking for solutions to their petrochemical needs. Hello everyone and welcome to the final edition of this year's show, Inside LSU Gymnastics with Coach Dee Dee Bro. I'm Jay Clark, Associate Head Coach with Head Coach Dee Dee Bro. And Dee Dee, what an amazing year it really was for us uh, in so many levels. We broke so many records, whether it be uh, with our attendance, with our, our uh, record of 25 wins for two seasons in a row, undefeated in the Southeastern Conference. Uh, a record score of 198.375. There's just a list of goes on and on and on of the accolades that this team achieved this year. And you remember all of them. That's <laughs> amazing. Um, I tell you what, Jay, we knew at 101. We knew last fall when the kids started training together and, and meshing as a team, and they're just they were so responsive and so pliable and um, set goals and, and had things that they wanted to achieve. But at 101. In the PMAC, that dress rehearsal practice meet that, that uh, we're fortunate to be able to do, they came together. They hit some routines. They, they stuck a lot of landings. And we knew that they were destined to, to do some things that no other LSU team had ever done. Well, you know, you, you have a special group like we had as seniors this year. And, and uh, it takes a, a group to get on board with a message like that, to have the kind of things that we had happen this year. It really takes getting on board with that message and everybody being on the same page. And, and one of the greatest indicators that I've always thought is you can tell by how they do in the classroom whether a team is really going to uh, achieve their goals in a lot of ways. And this team has been very disciplined in the classroom as well. Well, they have. And you know, Jay Jenkins, I think, has done a, a great job as our academic counselor. And on top of everything, day to day, really following what's happening in the classroom, what's happening in, in, with their preparation for the classroom. So I'm, I'm very, very pleased with, with that part of the equation. Well, and they, they exemplified discipline. They made a, made a commitment uh, on all levels, not just academically, but, but with their fitness, with the way they went about their business and the way they conducted themselves in the, in the community, with their community service in so many ways. And then you look at what happened with our attendance this year, and it was such an explosion. Uh, we went from averaging roughly 5,500 last year to nearly 10,000 this year, finishing out our season with over 13,000 fans. Talk a little bit about that growth and, and what that meant to you this year. I think it was a, a plan. You know, we, we started with a plan three years ago when you got here. Our, our season tickets weren't, we weren't doing what we, we felt like we were capable of doing. We got momentum with uh, local gymnasts, with Reagan Corville, a lot of community recognition in the, in the name and in the performance and what she's able to do throughout her entire career. But you know, having local kids makes a huge difference. Sydney Ewing, we drew a lot of people from Lafayette to our events. The North Shore audience, uh, the kids from New Orleans, all the gymnasts from all the clubs, they really got on board. Our alums got on board and, and followed us on the road. So that's, that was huge. But it's the consistent message, the week in and week out, having a plan, executing the plan. And then we, we're quick to evaluate, okay, this, we, we did this, we didn't like this. And, and we, we would move forward what we liked, we continued to do throughout the season. But, you know, driving that train, you know, marketing, promotions, every week, meeting, and, and, and having a plan and following through with it. You know, the, one of the questions that, that I get asked on the, the Tiger Tour is, um, most exciting moment this year? We had so many great performances, so many wonderful things, but I think walking through that tunnel, that final home meet, or even the Florida meet, second to last home meet, and seeing people sitting in the top, seeing people all the way up to the top, that was a, there was a lot of gratification, a lot of satisfaction in that. And I don't want to be accused of trying to market and promote our program. We're doing it and being successful. Well, and we put a good product on the floor, yeah. and that always helps. And one thing I've learned here at LSU is that if you're doing that, uh, LSU people will get behind you, and, and uh, they certainly did. And this team really delivered in that environment. Once those fans started coming, 
They really delivered. We mentioned the fact that we were 7-0 in the Southeastern Conference, first time in program history. And look at the ranked teams in the Southeastern Conference. Unbelievable. Yeah. The, the month of February saw us go undefeated, but beating Alabama on the road, beating Auburn on the road, beating Georgia and Florida here in the PMAC. And, and to, to do that and have back-to-back -back seasons where you've had 25 wins, sustainability is very important. And, uh, and I think that what we're seeing and what, we've sh what this team showed is that they were back again for another amazing year, and, and it was incredible. You know, and Jay, you're talking about the wins on the road. You know, we we won those road meets with Beam being our last event. Yeah, yeah. You know that, and that that's a tough one to be at Auburn and at Alabama, and you know you got to go to that event. And this team had that. They had Moxie on Balance Beam, and. Um, it just it carried us most of the season. They did, and you know the season didn't end the way we would wanted it to on that event, but but it had been a super strong event for us all year long. Uh, a team that that had really shown its metal time and time again on that event, and you know that's that's part of sport, and uh, and sometimes things don't go exactly the way you want, but for the most part, this team will be remembered for the consistency that they showed on all four events. And in particular, balance beam being one of the top ranked events all year long. And great accomplishments. I mean, they great things, you know, all the way to all the inner squads and all the preparation that we had in the gym and the, the consistency in preparation and, and how they prepared and how they competed to, to get into those lineups. Yeah. And, and it really, it made this a tough, tough team. Well, Didi, when we come back, we're going to take a look at some of the highlights of our postseason meets, beginning with the Southeastern Conference Championships that took place at the Gwinnett Center in Duluth, Georgia. Inside LSU Gymnastics is brought to you by Gulf Coast Office Products, Tiger Spots, Care Now, Flying Tigers Gymnastics Camp, by Assurance Financial. When you find the home you want to buy, choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy. David Alello with Assurance Financial. Lending the way home buyers prefer. And by Sigma Engineers and Constructors. Sigma is committed to providing the absolute best multidiscipline engineering design consulting for the petrochemical industry. With experts in every discipline, our dedication to safety, accuracy, and quality, and our drive to have long lasting relationships with our clients, sets us apart as the go to firm for anyone looking for solutions to their petrochemical needs. This segment brought to you by Sigma Engineers and Constructors. Sigma is committed to providing the absolute best multidisciplined engineering design consulting for the petrochemical industry. With experts in every discipline, our dedication to safety, accuracy, and quality, and our drive to have long-lasting relationships with our clients sets us apart as the go-to firm for anyone looking for solutions to their petrochemical needs. Welcome back to Inside LSU Gymnastics with head coach Didi Bro. Didi, our postseason began with the Southeastern Conference Championships at the Gwinnett Center in Duluth, Georgia, and what a meet that was. We were second for the first time since 2005, and it's, uh, it was an exciting meet all the way around. We started the meet on bars, which has been a good rotation for us uh, most of the year, and, and really had a tremendous amount of success in this meet. You know, we, we traveled well, had a, had a large fan base there, so it was exciting for the kids to, to be able to compete in such a, such a um, action-packed arena, very tight arena. Uh, SEC did a great job running the competition. Uh, the, you know, the, the format of this competition was four teams on the floor and it was fast and furious and kind of laid out exactly like we told the kids in the locker room exactly what was going to happen. And we went to bars and, you know, put, put together as good a bar rotation as we've done all season long. Beam, we, you know, hung on, did a great job, um, and then went into our last two events and just blew the top out. The kids were great on those last two events. And Didi, they fought hard all the way through that meet, finishing second as a team, but what were some of the things that really stood out for that meet from an individual standpoint to you? Well, Jay, I, I, I'm going to throw that one to the all-arounders. We had two of the very best all-arounders in that competition, Jesse Jordan, Reagan Corville, when the thing ended, they tied for the all-around title and against some of the very best all-arounders in the, in the entire country. Well, and that sort of is a little bit of uh, sort of poetic justice. Those two have been neck and neck all year long and it would have really been hard to see one win and not the other. And, uh, so it was kind of nice that they were able to finish as seniors yeah. on top of that podium together. And they're two different 
different kind of gymnastics. You have Reagan Corville that does the flashy right. kind of big stuff, and then you have Jesse Jordan who's just steady, yeah. just solid as a rock, just kind of has steadied her way through the entire season. So it was fun to watch them compete against each other, but with each other for the team. It takes both. It takes both personalities and both styles of gymnastics in order to really provide the leadership that they did all year long. And we had some individual awards as well. We had a freshman that won vault. Well, she tied with Reagan Corville, yeah. which was a huge vault. You know, Reagan, all the height and all the distance. And then you have Maya Hambrick from right there in Georgia, yeah. who has this tremendously high vault that just dropped and stuck right in the middle of the mat. Um, so deserving and, and such, a, such a promising future for that youngster. I mean, she did a great job. And then Jayla, you know, we got Lamencia Hall. Yeah. Week in and week out, she gives us those big floor routines. Four years in a row, SEC floor exercise champion. Um, another highlight, another, well, and the another great performance. And the anticipation that goes on in the arena whenever yeah. she is about to come up because we've got some great floor workers that go ahead of her mm -hmm. that do amazing things and get great scores. But you can feel it start to build in the arena. There's a little bit of a buzz that goes along with that. And, yeah. and she genu generally does not disappoint. And on this night, she did a great job and came out with the SEC championship. But then we go on, we come back home, and we find out Monday after the SEC Championships that we're headed to Ames, Iowa, mm -hmm. a place that I have never been to I, in 25 I've never years. Been. I've never been. And, uh, and we go there for our regional meet, and what an amazing place it was. We get there, and uh, the arena and the equipment was very nicely done, mm -hmm. and we get there, and there's a group of fans, LSU fans, yeah. from, from the local areas and from Minnesota who had organized a tailgate to greet us. And they call themselves, what, the Iowans in exile. They, yeah. they're, and they spell it with an E-A-U-X in the middle of Iowa. And they had a blast, sat up there with our fans. But of course, they fed them, wined them and dined them before they came into the arena. And it was like nothing we've ever experienced on the road. Well, we didn't get to actually go out there and see it, but we got pictures and video from it, and it was it was jambalaya and we all the cajun. We smelled it though we when did we got off it. that bus. We, we could, could smell, smell that chicken smoking. There were flags of flying and cooking cajun mm -hmm. cuisine, and and uh, and that was it was pretty special for our yeah. kids to to see that and to understand that that the impact that mm -hmm. they have had nationwide on on former LSU alum people that that have followed LSU athletics from afar. Right. Gymnastics really got their attention this year, and it was really nice to see that when we were mm -hmm. greeted there in Ames. LSU! We had an overall very solid meet. We started off a little shaky on bars, but then really ratcheted things down and, and hit a, a great beam set and finished out again on, on, the, uh, on the vault at the end of the meet, which was uh, a good rotation for us. Yeah, I think the, you know, leaving bars and, and going into beam, our second event, the kids were very confident that you know we, we're gonna we're gonna go to beam. We'll get this thing going again in the, in the right direction, and and we were moving certainly forward the entire time. I think the the standout performance for me on beam was our little freshman Erin McAdag got him going. Got to the end of that lineup where we really score well. Yeah, she did a great job as as did everyone, and we ended up sweeping the awards mm -hmm. in that event. Jesse Jordan becoming the Central Region Athlete of the Year. Mark Ewing, our, our administrator who's over gymnastics, was the administrator of the year. And then we were we were all the coaches of the year. Yeah. So it was a it was a nice nice way to finish out that part of the season for us. It was a great, great trip home. We got to charter, so we you know, meet was over, got on the plane and flew straight home and we're home Easter morning, which was nice for you because Which was great, because my children were baptized yeah, Easter morning. So, so that was great. Thank you, LSU, for uh, for traveling <laughs> yeah. us in style. But then we get ready for the national championship with a lot of anticipation and a lot of things that really a lot of momentum going our way. And, and although we knew we belonged on the floor at the Super yeah. Six, we failed to qualify and, and those things happened. But what was a great high point was we had seven different individuals who qualified to be All-Americans this year and that was another record for our school. And it it was all over the scale. It was uh, freshmen, sophomores, yeah. juniors, seniors. Um, it just bodes for how much strength and how much depth we're going to have moving into into next year. But we're looking forward to being back there again next year and having our fans uh, come out with us and, and, and make the make the short drive. It's only seven hours. But, uh, but you know, Jay, when we got back, I had kids calling me that night, late, like, meet me in the gym tomorrow. I got to get back on the beam. Yeah. You know, like, when are we going to start open workout? So I think our road back to Fort Worth started the instant we got back to Baton Rouge. No, I don't think there's any question. Yeah. I think they're hungry.
know, I had some incredible teammates and coaches and I couldn't have been as consistent as I was if I wasn't doing it for such a great organization and for LSU Gymnastics. We went through everything together. We, we thrived under adversity and um, I just want them um, to know how it felt this year finishing the way we did and wanting to come back even stronger next year. Everything that I've experienced here in college I don't think I would have wanted to experience anywhere else. And it's such a great program and so, such a great organization that when you come here, you're coming to part of greatness. So get ready to ride the ride and enjoy it while you can. Jay, the thing we're going to talk about now is I think one of the programs that, that you brought, that, that you have energized and brought to our program, and we call it the Tiger Eyes. And I just think that uh, it is the, the one thing that has unified this team, the one thing that has given us a greater understanding of not only each other as a staff, but our, our athletes, our student athletes. But uh, what you're going to see right now, what we did this time, was probably the deepest, most inside LSU gymnastics we've ever let people see. Yeah, and I, you know, in some in some levels, you get a little reluctant to let, to let everybody see that. But I think mm -hmm. it's important that that people understand this is a tool that we use. It it allows for avenues of communication to occur. It allows for uh, for our kids to be able to express to each other things they've noticed, both positively and constructive criticism. Right. And and uh, so we, we kind of got to let you kind of peer behind the, the curtain here a little bit and see exactly what one of those meetings is like. And mind you, this meeting occurred after the national championship, after the disappointment, but also highlighting a lot of the highs that we had seen from each other all year long. And I think it's really a neat way for, for everybody, our fans, to kind of see just how invested our team really is in one another. The way you've been competing, like every time you get out on the floor, I just feel so good about like every event you do. Every time you get out there, I'm, I like feel no doubt, no like worries or anything. So I just want to thank you. You never cast negative aspersions. You never blame. You always look into yourself. What can I do to make this situation better? You're rock. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so just prepare yourself over the summer and just work hard and so you can come back in here as a driving force. You, you should know you're like never alone. Like they said, you have all of us here for you. And now you can take that and use that to help the incoming freshmen because I'm pretty sure you know some of them pretty well. Mm -hmm. So just, and using that as your like initial leadership for them and for the rest of the team because next year is going to be completely different and we determine that. I want you to know how much of a difference like consistency of mind um, makes in people and that's not a quality that mo a lot of people possess and you're going to make a huge difference um, just by people around you seeing how you are and how mm -hmm. you train and how you bring your training into competition and watching you nail vaults in um, warm up and then being able to go nail it again in competition when people see that they, they, they want to possess that too and I want you to know um, like how much everybody's going to look to that next year and how much that it's going to be valued. I think your mindset is very consistent, but I challenge you to find that inner confidence. I know it's there, but it's a little, it's a little, you need to dust it off a little bit. <laughs> because like events that you're comfortable with, like vault and um, yeah, vault you're very comfortable with. <laughs> <laughs> but the other events, the skills are so good. I think you are an incredible gymnast. I think you're an incredible all-arounder. <laughs> like your confidence has grown and like you've grown in like your grades and but it's more important that um, we see that you know who you are now. And that's cool to see somebody like find themselves doing something they love. And I think it's shown so much in through your performance and through your life. And you have grown into the coolest person. And um, we all love to be around you. And you're like, everybody's so different. And um, especially you, because you get to bring a different culture to us. Too. The performance of the year goes, gotta go, Didi, to Jesse Jordan. You know, she's just so balanced, Jay. Not just her consistency in the gym, but also her consistency in the classroom. 
her community service. She's our leader. She's that, that driving engine that, that represents our team on our SAC board and does everything to motivate the kids. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it to her because she's so sincere and she's so focused about this entire team and, and keeping everybody moving in the right direction. Exclamation point by the Tigers. Well, there you have it, Didi, and the road to the next year's championships in Fort Worth, Texas started for us the, the moment we got off the plane here back at Baton Rouge, and we're looking forward to it. Kids are excited, and we're moving in a very forward direction in our facility. Next year, it's going to make a huge difference for us. So I think our road back to Fort Worth started the instant we got back to Baton Rouge. Well, I don't think there's any question. Yeah. I think that they're hungry. and and uh, very determined mm -hmm. uh, to, to learn from the, from the mistakes of the past and to, and to get back there again. And we've got a great group of freshmen yeah. coming in that are going to be able to support the cause, if you, if you will, and, and uh, very excited about them being here in August. Uh, they're excited. I mean, they've been on the phone with us, they've, the, the communication with our, with our team and our kids that are going to be moving in here in the summer and in August, it's, it's good. So look forward to it, fans. We look forward to seeing you again next year. As we wrap up this season. Thanks for being with us all year long. Thank you for supporting Inside LSU Gymnastics. We'll see you back in the PMAC on January 9th versus Oklahoma to start the season. Inside LSU Gymnastics is brought to you by Gulf Coast Office Products, Tiger Spotters, Care Now, Flying Tigers Gymnastics Camp, by Assurance Financial. When you find the home you want to buy, choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy it. David Alevo with Assurance Financial, lending the way home buyers prefer it. And by Sigma Engineers and Constructors. Sigma is committed to providing the absolute best multidisciplined engineering design consulting for the petrochemical industry. With experts in every discipline, our dedication to safety, accuracy, and quality, and our drive to have long-lasting relationships with our clients, sets us apart as the go-to firm for anyone looking for solutions to their petrochemical needs.